Hey, want to hear about my grandma being a terrible driver? With me in the car when I was a minor? Oh, hey, that rhymed. I didn't even mean to do that. It just sort of happened. Yeah, time for another grandma story. And you know what that means. It can only get worse from here. So, I've already made some videos about my grandma failing to be a proper guardian when babysitting me. But those individual incidents are small potatoes compared to the child endangerment brought on by her reckless driving. I, personally, am not the best driver in the world. You've seen the videos. But at least I didn't drive an elementary school around when I knew my brake lines weren't working and the only way for me to stop the car was to use the emergency brake. My mom didn't know about that, by the way. And when she found out, she was not happy. Looking back, I'm genuinely surprised I'm still alive. I have so many stories like this, and I only tell you guys the ones that I can make funny. And you know what's really funny? My grandma almost committing vehicular manslaughter. Oh wait, that's not funny at all. My grandma used to pick me up from high school. I would walk down the sidewalk until she saw me and would pull over so I could get in, and then she would keep driving toward the school because there was no way to make a turn back towards my house without driving further down the street for a bit first. And driving near my high school was a total nightmare. There would be so many cars from parents picking up their kids and the older students driving themselves home. Not to mention the school buses. The traffic was hell. And there was no real way to get around it. Though my grandma certainly tried. She pulled into the driveway of a house across the street from the school so she could reverse out and drive back, skipping the traffic. But there's a reason no one else ever tried to do this. Before she could reverse, the crossing guard got behind her car holding out his sign because she couldn't pull out without getting in the way of the bus's departure. And rather than stop, my grandma just kept slowly reversing. The crossing guard didn't budge. Uh, you're going to hit him. No, he'll move. He started slamming his hand against her rear windshield. She didn't stop. You're going to hit him with your car. Not if he moves. My grandma was playing chicken with the crossing guard. And I don't think I wouldn't have hit him if he had just moved would hold up well in court. Especially with me as a witness. I would rat that woman out in a heartbeat. Eventually, she caved and stopped the car when he started yelling. And we had to wait for all the buses to depart before pulling out. Taking much longer than it would have had she just gone the usual way. My grandma sulked the whole ride back because the crossing guard yelled at her. That man has issues against women. I think the only issue he has with women is if they try to hit him with a car. And then the next time she picked me up, she picked a different approach to try avoiding the traffic. My high school had this big loop that all the buses would park in for students to board before driving out. And my grandma tried driving into that loop to pull out through the parking lot that it was connected to. Which was very much not allowed. The crossing guard was screaming at her. The bus drivers were all honking. The kids on the buses were slamming their hands against the windows and shouting to get her attention. And I was sinking into my seat trying to be invisible while my grandma just kept going. She didn't stop until a teacher stepped in front of the car and told her this wasn't allowed. But ultimately, they had no choice but to let her follow through because she drove too far in to reverse now. She was given a stern warning not to do this again. Why did you keep driving when literally everyone was yelling for you to stop? I thought they were yelling at someone else. After that, I told my mom to stop sending her to pick me up. And while that stopped her from wreaking havoc on my school, it did not stop her from wreaking havoc on my neighborhood. Once after visiting, my mother and I watched from the door as she reversed out of our driveway and hit the neighbor's car parked in the road. And then she drove away. Uh, she just wrecked that car. Yeah. She's leaving. She's just leaving. That's irresponsible. It's immoral. What's wrong with her? She's not answering her phone. Why would she? She's avoiding the consequences of her actions like a scumbag. After several attempts to call my grandma's cell, she finally picked up and my mom demanded she come back and tell our neighbor what she did. Something she was very resistant to, as she felt she had done nothing wrong and it was fine for her to just leave like that. After my mom made it clear that if it came down to it, she wouldn't lie to the police for her, 
my grandma decided to come back and tell the neighbor what she did. I think she really should have her license revoked.